Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and today we are continuing our legacy challenge. I know I say this in every video, but I hope you guys are doing well. I know it's crazy times we're living in, so I hope you guys are adjusting. I hope everyone and your family and your friends, I hope they're all safe and healthy. I'm doing really good. Um, going a little bit crazy being stuck in my apartment. Today is a very special day. We hit a major milestone of 50,000 subscribers and I... I don't even know what to say anymore except for I'm just really happy and thankful like I have no words You guys are gonna have to help me come up with something special to do for this uh, Occasion because I want to do something a little bit different since it is such a major milestone. So yeah, I love you guys Thank you so much for supporting me and loving me it truly means the world. I hope you guys are excited for this episode of Legacy Challenge. I know I am, so let's get into it. Okay guys, here we are back on the Legacy lot. It's raining and it's winter. I wonder when Winterfest is. We should like take advantage. Uh, it's in three days. Cool, whose birthday's tomorrow? Oh, the baby, right? Okay, I got a little scared. Oh, you know that feeling when you drink too much caffeine, but you're not really doing anything um, active. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> All right. So I was thinking, you know, I lay in bed and I think about Sims and I think about ways that I can like make it better or make it more fun or more like realistic or different than any other kind of Sims gameplay. And I had this thought and this is perfect because Winterfest is in three days. Um, Christmas in real life is so much more of a big deal than it is in The Sims. And I think like we kind of overlook that, at least I do. I know that everybody's different. Everyone has their own beliefs and stuff, but uh, my family celebrates Christmas and it's always like a big deal. So I was kind of thinking we could make it similar to my Christmassy experiences. So I'm going to add a holiday on the day before Christmas and I'm going to call it, since it's called Winterfest in The Sims, I'm just going to call it Winterfest Eve here. And we're going to do Winterfest decorations. Um, they can have the day off of work and school. Why not? Okay, so on Christmas Eve, I like my family like does most of the celebrating. We don't really do like much on Christmas. Christmas Eve is more of our Christmas. So we pretty much do everything, but I'm just going to keep it kind of simple so we can do we can put we can do decorating. We can do definitely a festive spirit for sure. Um I wish there was like more <laughs> yeah we can do drinking we can do baking and then we can just like take them out we can like go ice skating order hot chocolate just kind of hang all right cool so that's done it was just a random thought that i had that i thought would be cool to add to the game so let's see what everyone is up to shall we oh i gave olive her elder makeover she's asleep right now but oh oh max is on his way to cook something but uh, I aged her, I gave her white hair, I gave her glasses, because when you get old, a lot of the times your sight goes. So, yeah. Ren? Really? The Olive is- oh my god, I thought- Yeah, Ren can just go wherever she wants. It doesn't matter if the door is locked or not. She can just poof herself in. Speaking of that... We need to fix this. So I downloaded this set family relationships mod. So it'll allow me to set Ren as his aunt. So hopefully that will uh, prevent what happened last time from happening again. So yeah, there's no like great aunt or anything like that, but there is regular aunt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And it should pop up in his relationships now. Yeah, so yeah. Hopefully that um, fixes all of that. <laughs> and then, does it say that nephew? Okay, cool. So it goes both ways. So you don't have to do it for both Sims, which is nice. Maxi boy, how you doing, my dude? And look, it's snowing. And we should probably set the thermostat to have the automatic thing 
Um, let's get Ren to do it in Olive's house. Activate K. And I changed Alice's hair. A lot of you guys liked this one on her. I like it too, for sure. But uh, I think eventually, like when she starts growing older, we'll probably do a uh, pixie cut. I think that would look really nice. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We shall see. Stella's gonna have a nap. Oh yeah, and in the comments, you guys wanted me to check if Stella's baby is actually Charlie's. Since my sims are a little crazy, so let's see. Um, Charlie, Zoe, yep, okay, thank god. Thank god. <laughs> Yes, use the bathroom, and then once you're done using the bathroom, I need you to begin stream. I don't understand why it's taking you so long to get famous. Like, you stream all the time. It really takes a lot when all you do is stream. Oh, here's the cake and the almond macaroons from when we aged up Alice. Cute. Here's the baby. This is the new heir. If you guys missed the last episode, this is Zoe. Um... Yeah, I'm really excited about her. I'm excited to see how she looks. Because uh, Charlie is pretty... He has pretty um, pr pronounced features, like striking features. And Stella does as well. Like, her mouth is gigantic. And she's got these gorgeous, like, eyes. I don't know. I'm just really excited to see their genes come together. It's gonna be real fun. <laughs> What's this? What is this? Ren, can you uh, resume? Oh, fruit and yogurt parfait. Okay, go ahead and resume that. I'm pretty scared that Oliver is gonna die soon because he's been an elder for a good, am a good amount of time. So I'm concerned that that's gonna happen soon. <laughs> um, Olive is like depressed from someone dying, but I don't know who it is. Cause like, there's no one in her relationships that I really... I think it might have been her. I'm not 100% sure though. But yeah, she's depressed. Oh, she's inspired. Can you come and do this? Find Muse. I want you to add impression though. Erg. It's so hard. Like, I don't really know how to do this. Like, she needs to have that, like, impressions moodlet, but I don't know how to get it. It's, like, very rare. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys what she looks like now. It's not as different. It's just a little older. Because she was looking pretty um, young before. But she's still stylish. She's still trendy. I mean, she's a freaking it sim. So she still needs to have some kind of sense. Oh, she has it. She has it. Add impression. This thing right here. Style impression. Um... So yeah, she still needed to have some kind of, like, s fashion sense, for sure. Can you put the fruit and yogurt parfait down and please add an impression before it goes away? Thank you, my child. Thank you so much. Okay, you can continue eating this now. So for her work... Oh my gosh, she needs to do another one? Come on. Okay, let's view this again. She needs to reach level 8 charisma. She's almost there. I'm, um, I am, get, uh, not guaranteed, determined, freaking determined to get her to max her, um, her career before she passes away. Because we haven't maxed a career yet in this entire, uh, series, and that's not good. Not good at all. I don't think that we're gonna have very many points at the end, which is kind of unfortunate. But... Then again, yay, good for you, Ren. One day though, I'm pretty sure you've gone way longer than that. Unless she did something we didn't see. <laughs> um, but I'm not really worried about the legacy points. I'm kind of just playing and like the legacy points, they're, they're in my head, they're in the back of my mind, but it's not something that I'm like extremely focused on because it's fun to focus on other things as well so yeah that's where we're at and the baby is sad so uh stella i know 
Oh, she's thinking about her first time. Okay. I thought they like went and woohooed in the rocket or something. I was like, not again. <laughs> and then for Alice, I really want her to, uh, ooh. Let's get her to do this. Uncover artifact. I want you to work on that archaeology skill. It looks like it's a little bit there already, so we can continue. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, she's a freaking vampire. Ugh! Oh okay, go inside. Hurry. Quickly, quickly. And you're thirsty. Oh my gosh. Another thing we have to worry about. Ren, can you share your plasma packs, please? I'm gonna move this archaeology table into her room so that she can like work on her stuff whenever. There she goes. Wow. Why is she standing like that? It's so funny how teens, they just like take a break from whatever they're doing to text. <laughs> oh yeah, get up in there, girl. Get up in there. This is cool. I've never had a sim do archaeology. Like, I realize I have not done a lot of stuff in The Sims because, like, every Let's Play I'm like, I've never done this in The Sims before. I've never done this in The Sims before. <laughs> I used to be an extremely one-sided, one-dimensional Sims player until I started doing Let's Plays, so... That's pretty cool. So I'm thinking for Stella, we could do wellness. Um, I was thinking about a skill that I wanted her to max and I think wellness would be cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the wellness books. And you guys like the idea of this family like having a retail store. And I originally wanted Stella to do like sell potions or whatever, but potions aren't worth anything. Thank you, Kengo. How sweet. Why hasn't Kengo died yet? He should be dead. But he's not. He's not even aging. Is he a vampire and we just didn't know? How cool would that be? Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, freaking potions aren't worth anything. So there's no point in doing that. So maybe she could sell like wellness like elixirs. I know that you can craft things when you have a high well wellness skill on the stove. What is it called? A brew brew herbal remedy. Like maybe she can sell herbal remedies. Uh or maybe Alice can sell her artifacts or Ren. One of you guys suggested and uh, uh bleh, I can't speak. Um one of you guys suggested Alice have like an artifact shop and then in the back would be a vampire bar. And I think that was such a good idea and I wish you could combine lot types in The Sims, but you can't. So it either has to be a retail spot or bar. It's really unfortunate. Harvest plasma fruit from a tree three times. We can do that because we have plasma fruit trees. Harvest plasma fruit. Go ahead, Bren. Go. One of you guys said this makeover got Ren feeling like a whole new woman and that's why she's wild and out woohooing with Charlie and Patchy. New hair color, new her. New hair, new me. What are you dazed from? Illness? Oh shoot. Do you have any medicine? Who's got the medicine? Okay, cool. Harvest fruit. Three times she did that, and now all she has to do is go 14 days without drinking. No one will ever believe you. Okay. Sure. Um, for 14 days in a row. Batman is hungry. Yikes, Char- Wait, what? Fool. Come on. There's food right here. Charlie. Okay, you're good, you're good. You're taking care of the baby. Let's um, call Batman to eat. Be like, yo, fam, there's food right here. Why are you not eating it? Why are you starving yourself? And empty this nasty tea maker. Please, empty it. Okay, there we go. All good. So Stella's in a good mood. She's nice and green. So why don't you start reading one of these books? Wellness volume one. Get it. Some of you guys said that you uh, like the idea of Stella being kind of like a 
I think one of you said granola, a granola witch. So she's really into like uh, wellness and taking care of herself and like making potions and making herbal remedies and all that stuff. And I like that. I like that uh, identity for her. So we can do that. Where's your drone? I swear we need to like buy a bunch and just litter them all over the lot so that we never lose track of them. There it is. I would like the baby to age up already, even though I really don't want a toddler. It's better than a baby. <laughs> okay, it looks like she got her uh, skill up to level eight, which is great. When do you have work next? Two days. Okay, well, looks like you're not getting promoted anytime soon. It's almost Zoe's birthday. Okay, great. Good stuff. Ooh, ooh, she did it. Send away for aut authentication. That's really cool. It's like a skull thing. A miskin skull. Nice. Get it, girl. Okay, what else can we do? Just put an in inventory. Do you have anything in here? Send away for authentication. Uh, what else you got? Send away. I know that Olive has some stuff in her inventory for some reason. This one. Let's just give that to Alice. She also has... Oh my god, my mouse is being so annoying right now. Stop! Max Jr. is inviting us to dinner. Yeah, we could do that. Um, some of you guys said that, we, blah, blah, that you wanted me to check up on them. Like uh, Damien and Max Jr. So we can do that. We should probably go over to Oliver's house as well. See how they're doing over there. Ooh, this is quite romantic. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Why is it romantic? No, don't do an enchanting introduction. No. I want to ask him if he has any kids. I know that that is somewhere. Oh, ask about children. Here we go. Oh, okay. He's just helping himself to some milk in the fridge. And Olive has decided to do some skincare. Great. It looks like Max Jr. did as well. I don't have kids. Okay. Why is... Oh, he's a food critic. He just... Oh, that's so cool. Hold on. Should we ask about his career? Ask about career. Unemployed. Okay. Why was he just like taking notes like a food critic? Bring up embarrassing childhood moment. So maybe we should have um, decide his life then, since he's really got nothing going for him. Let's do that. Let's decide his life. And then we'll ask him what his career is after she does that. Okay, well, it's not letting me ask about his career, so we'll just figure it out another time because this lot is being so glitchy and they just keep going up and down these stairs and it's driving me insane. So can you just go home, please? <laughs> Gabriella says, I swear every episode they're all mourning. It's true. It's because they know so many people. It's like, all they do is freaking die. Ren, why are you always in here? You have your own house. Who's this? Another alley? What? Why do my sims keep duplicating themselves? It's really weird. Mourn fish friend? No, my darling. Please don't do that. She was gonna go look at the um, mounted fish and mourn her fish friend. Itchy from hormones. Ew. Stella, I know you love to dance, but can you just keep reading your wellness book, please? All you do is dance. Charlie, what are your skills like? Hey, they're actually pretty good. You got a few above five. Charisma and cooking. You maxed your media production skill. Your vampire lore skill is high. Your video gaming skill is also high. Proud. I'm proud of you. Aw, looks like baby Batman wants a walk. Let's give him one. Go on a short walk. And then Ren, what were we working on for you? Um, Programming and wellness. I guess we could just do programming. I think that would go by really fast. And then you can like hack stuff for us. Practice programming. Oh my God, look, Silas is here just creeping on Ren. Yay, I love it when he goes on walks with Batman and streams. I think, 
I think. I think it's so cute. This is adorable. I love this. And Batman's happy because he's wagging his tail. Cute! I love this. Aw, relationship, yay! And you're getting fame. This is a win-win situation. But it's getting really snowy, so you should probably head home. Stella the baby! Oh my gosh, you're not a very good mom. You don't have them maternal instincts. But you do have a talent point, which is great. So, what should we do with you? Maybe we should just do... Let's do uh, gains experience faster. That's always a good one to have. Hey, and Ren, you're doing your programming thing. That's great, that's great. You can unleash him. Unleash. And you know what? We need video games in the house. It's so funny how the geek trait has made its way down from Zara to Olive and now to Charlie. I wonder, I wonder how long this trait is going to get passed down for. It's already been three generations and cheerful. Cheerful and geek have been passed down for three generations. What the? That's kind of crazy to me. Oh, okay, Silas, so you're gonna fix our toilet and then haunt it and break it again. Makes total sense! Like, total sense. Look how happy Batman is now. Aww. Ren, do you want to change the diaper this time? Oh, wait, no, you're programming. Um, in the zone? Oh, dang. How about you, Alice? I think the door might be locked. There you go. Change the diaper, please. Your dad's too busy playing video games and your mom's too busy reading. You're still programming, right? Okay, yeah, you are. What, what skill- what level are you at? Five! Okay, cool. Keep it going. Keep it going. Silas is just out here playing chess all alone. Alice, did you do your homework yet? Do your homework. Yay! Can you do extra credit? No? Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Let's order you some archaeology books since there's nothing you could do with the archaeology table at the moment. Um, reading books is probably the next best thing that you can do. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now, come and read that. So for your aspiration, you want to collect 10 collectibles. I would, but... It's like heavy snow, it's probably not safe, so I'm gonna hold off on that. You just uh, read your little book there. Stella, what are you doing? Oh, repairing the toilet? Okay, sure. <laughs> when you're done with that, though, I need you to keep reading. And School for Alice starts in an hour? What? I thought it was nighttime. I'm so turned around in this house. They stay up all night and rarely sleep. I guess that's partially my fault, but like, I don't know. They're in good moods. Yay, it's day two for Ren. Thank God. Have a great day. I'm gonna make you make some friends. Flirt with classmates. No, um, make friends so we can build your friends friend group. And how many spots do we have in the house right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So perhaps they should get pregnant again. If we're if we're gonna have ten, ten kids and they're almost already adults, we need to get to work. So let's go ahead and try for a baby. And she's excited. She's excited to try for another baby. Oh wait, who did you meet, Alice? Sheena. Okay. Interesting. She could possibly be your new bestie. I guess we'll find out. Did I tell you to get cake? No, I told you to try for baby. You too! Winterfest Eve's tomorrow. Yay! Come on, you guys. Go. Oh, oh, he had to- Oh! What's, um, interesting. This is, uh, he definitely fell asleep with, with cake in bed. Um, nice. That's a mood. 
That is a whole entire mood. Uh, so did they woohoo or did they not? They didn't. What's up with that? Charlie was too preoccupied with his cake. Where are you? Oh, okay, you're at work. Okay, well, Charlie, since you're not doing anything at all, besides eating cake, I need you to change your daughter's diaper, cuddle with her. Have you been learning anything new lately? Um, yeah, some parenting stuff. <laughs> oh no, bills and still crying baby. Uh, oh my god, who died? Did someone new die? Or did she just mourn? Mourning from losing a friend. Uh, who was it though? I don't know, just some people we don't really care about. Charlie, enough with the cake. Enough. Take care of your child. Stress. Stress level is high. Ren, how are you doing? Um, you made it to level... Six? Okay, not bad, but you're thirsty. Oh yeah, and one of you guys said since Stella's career is a custom career that we should get her a new job, but I feel like as long as she makes it to level 10, it still counts as a point because she finished a career. So I think I'm just gonna keep it. Ooh, ooh, Alice made met Dylan. Um, and she has a school project. Okay, so... Oof, she's really not feeling good. Have yourself some plasma packs. And then come and work on your project. And then we can invite your friends over and give them makeovers. Stella, you're home. What do you want to do for yours? No three different spells. Cast a spell on another sim. Okay, uh, what spells do you know? Scrubberoo. Sure. Do that on her. Do it. Why are you doing it? Oh! So annoying. Go in the house. Go. How cool would it be if we could cast spells on babies to make them shut up? Oh, Orange is here. No, I just saw some hearts near Ren. Oh, what did I miss? We really need to find Ren a, um, a partner. Because this is just ridiculous. I want to just ask him to be friends. You know, it's very possible that Ren and Orange just have this thing. They just like each other for some reason, and I don't- It's annoying, but all they do is flirt. It drives me crazy. And for some reason, we can't ask him to be just friends unless I'm like completely missing it. Alright, we are making a friends club for Alice. Oh, let's do this since she's a collector, and we'll add the two people that she met at school, which were Sheena. Oh, I forgot about Jaquan and Dylan. Oh, you know Kate! How do you know Kate? Did you meet her at school? Okay, we can add her. Let's start a gathering and then have a look at all of the people. Except for Kate, because we know her from a previous video. I saw your face and wow! Try for baby! Charlie, stop playing video games. We have more pressing matters at hand. There they go! Off to do the deed! And where are the ca- Oh look! One of them rode their bike over! Okay, where are you headed? Where are you going? Oh Kate, why are you naked? Oh no. You don't have a cold weather outfit, do you? That's the meaning of eternity. Alright, let's have a look at Dylan first. This is so fun. I love it when they meet people at school and then we can just give them makeovers. Oh, okay. Mario is your dad. That's a gender-bended version of Maria from my BitLife series. And you have two sons, but you're not married. Okay. So Dylan, his aspiration is strange real mystery. He's sporty and an alcoholic. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's not good. That is not a good friend to have, but hey, it is what it is. I wonder who his mom is. I'm like dying to know now. 
His eyes are like red pretty much. So it's gonna be hard finding custom eyes that are red. Oh, there are those. They're not too bad. I actually kind of like them. There are these, but they're more purple. And those are definitely more on the red side. Um, all right, so I picked this hair and those eyes. So his face is done. Now we just need to find him something sporty to wear since he's a sporty sim. <laughs> Sporty. Let's see. Maybe a jersey. Okay, so there's her first friend, Dylan. Um, Kate's already done. We need to do Sheena. And... I think that was it. Okay, and then we have Sheena. And it looks like... Oh my gosh, it's just her and her little sister. Wait. Ros Roswell? Roswell, yeah, they're... Oh man. Okay, I wonder what happened to their parents. So she, that's new. What is this? She has like all custom stuff. Uh, she's a natural singer and she's neat. Okay, wow, look at those brows. Holy crap. Oof, okay, um, perhaps we should run with the thick brow thing, but not that thick, cause that was gnarly. She looks like that one actress. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put her picture on the screen, but that is who she reminds me of. I don't know her name, but they look exactly alike. That's so funny. Let's go with this hair. I've been really liking this hair lately, and I think it looks pretty good on her, but I think her brows need to be that shade. That's better. So... Since she's just a singer, I feel like we can do anything we really want with her style. I thought it would be cool if we could like randomize a style. Random fashion style preference generator. This is amazing. Uh, okay, let's see what we get. Murky colors and favors a flirty look. What does that mean? Let's try again because I don't really understand. Leans towards oceanic col colors and prefers clothes that grab attention. Your character also loves scarves and likes flashy jewelry. Okay. Uh, so oceanic colors, attention grabbing clothes, and jewelry. Okay. That's fun. So definitely giving her earrings then. Flashy ones. And then, since she likes jewelry, we're gonna give her a necklace, too. Alright, so this is Sheena. We're all done. Uh, I really like that style randomizer thing. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use it whenever I make um, characters friends now. Just so we have some variety, because I tend to dress all my sims the same. I want to meet another girl so that <laughs> we can randomize another style. Okay, so I think I'm going to give the house a little Christmas makeover. So where should we put the tree? Let's just move this table over there. We'll move all it or uh, Alice's project there. I think we might just put the tree here since it's like a central thing. Yeah, and if it's here, then everyone will have room to decorate it. My sims always have issues with that and it's so annoying. Let's go ahead and put a cute little wreath here. Actually, where's the big one? I know that there's a wreath that's like huge compared to the others. Where am I seeing things? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, um, what else should we put out front? There. You know what I wish the sims had? Um, those light up deers that you can put in your front yard. Can we put up decorations yet? There we go. We can, yay! So what did we get? Icicles, little triangle. Oh, we missed one! Uh, oh yeah, Jaquan. Forgot about you. I'll just do this very quickly because I don't want this episode to be too create a sim heavy because I know that I can tend to do that. Oh, okay. Jaquan's your brother. Okay, so this is uh, Rosemary's sister. Uh, Rosemary is Caleb's wife. So he wants a big happy family. He's paranoid and a quick learner. I'm thinking um, 
Yeah, he had red hair, so we can keep that going. That has like a reddish tint to it, so that'll work. He's actually pretty cute. He's got a very innocent look to him. So let's randomize a style for him too, because why not? Uh, no, not a shoe generator. All right, let's see what it says. <sighs> Your character likes cool, light colors and prefers clothes that are fairly practical. That doesn't really like define a style though. Your character has a love of summery colors and leans toward a quirky look. Quirky fashion, okay. So it's a little weird and cute. Cutesy weird. All right, we can try and figure something out. How do we feel about this look? I don't know, I'm not 100% sure, but I love the glasses on him. I think that these suit his face very well. And did he just, is he missing a tooth? I keep forgetting to check all of their teeth just in case they got a weird one. Oh yeah, he's missing teeth. No, darling. So for the rest of this episode, we're going to age up Charlie and Stella's baby. Oh, I forgot. Stella needs to take a pregnancy test. And then we will celebrate Christmas Eve, celebrate Christmas. <sighs> and that will be this episode. My game is going super, super, super slow right now. Like, like switching categories in Create a Sim was a struggle. Not gonna lie. Is there a... Ooh, yay, there's an ice skating rink right here. Perfect. And there's a, a food cart right there. Okay, great. So we'll be able to do all of those things. Sheena, Jaquan, Dylan, and Kate. Okay, perfect. Very good. Are you broken? You're probably broken. My game... Um, no, no. Do not nap outside in the middle of heavy snow. <laughs> Come feed your child. Everyone just needs to come inside. In all seriousness. Alice, what are you making? You're baking a cake? You're adorable. Meal prep time from personality type. What personality type did you get? Oh my god, your empathy is so low. Please don't tell me you're going to be insensitive. So you are the provider. Extra extraordinarily caring, social and popular people. Always eager to help. Volunteering, charity, religious organizations, celebrating holidays and family traditions, cooking, entertaining, and social sports. I could see it. I could definitely see it. So, is it the baby's birthday yet? It is. So, why don't we go ahead and age her up? Can you please stop sleeping on that bench and come sleep in your bed? Oh, but first. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. You guys tried for baby, didn't you? Why can't you take a pregnancy test? Let's age up the baby first, and then you guys can try for baby, even though you're in a horrible mood. It is what it is. Happy birthday, Zoe! Uh, okay. Random. No way! No! We never- I was just saying how we never get this trait for our toddlers. Tiny troublemakers who love to cry, cause trouble, and throw fits. But being noticed makes them happy and helps them overcome negative moodlets. I guess Zoe's gonna be a handful. Ay, Chico. Okay, great. That's fantastic. Oh no, she ages up with these crazy lizard eyes. Alright. So, Stella has... Right, brown eyes. Charlie also has brown eyes, so it would only make sense that this baby would have brown eyes. Okay, blonde hair and dark chocolate brown hair. Okay. Nope, no cake for you. Sorry. Oh my god, they're gonna try for baby while Stella is, um, stinky. Now, oh my god, no! Don't woohoo with the b- That is just disgusting. She brought the baby in the bed with them while they're trying for another- My game is not happy. Not at all. Okay, come take a pregnancy test. Take a shower. Where's the toddler? Okay. Alright, come here, child. That was gross. I know the baby- the toddler doesn't know any better, but still, just the- the fact. 
Oh, cool. All right, she's pregnant. Okay, cool. She's pretty fertile, so. Oh, and it's a spellcaster baby. Okay, nice eyes. I gotta, I gotta say, I like them a lot. Okay, very cute. Very, very cute. So you need, like, honey brown eyes for sure. These, wait. These are Stella's eyes. And Charlie has... What do you have? Oh, you have noodle eyes. Aw. So you need, like, orangey brown, I guess. And you aged up with a bunch of freckles. That's adorable. I think it would be kind of cool if she had dirty blonde hair. So this is what I'm going for. Okay, guys, here's Zoe. This is such a cute outfit. I love it. She looks like a mom from the 90s. <laughs> but yeah, I, I use this bow in my magical baby series and I'm just obsessed with it. I love the way it looks on little toddlers. So here's her. Oh, I didn't do formal wear. My bad. Why do I always skip this one? Probably because we rarely have formal events. Um, and when I do, I always put on special outfits for them. Okay, uh, here's her sleepwear. Here's her party. I love this, it's so cute. Her swim, her hot weather, and cold weather. Okay, the new air guys, Zoe Campos. Woo! <laughs> Let me know um, how you guys feel about her being a dirty blonde. Um, I think it only makes sense to like combine their hair colors. Stella's hair is almost platinum blonde and Charlie's is like a chocolate brown. So I don't know. You guys are gonna have to let me know. And Stella is pregnant again. So I'm really excited about that. I hope she has twins. Oh, but there's not enough room in the house. So that's not gonna happen. But I am very excited uh, about her having another kid. Yay! Look, Olive! There's finally a child around and she's- Look! She's an elder, but she's freaking playing with her anyway. She's like, screw my back. I don't even care. Oh, can you not? Uh, that was weird. Please stop! Oh my god, please stop. That is so graphic. Stop doing that. That was freaking just not chill. I have no idea what that was about. Hug her lovingly though so I can get a proper picture. Why is it so lit in our house right now? Come on, Olive, snuggle with her. There we go. There we go. Cute grandma moments. Love, 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 love. So let's work on her skills. Oh, she needs some food. Olive, could you do that? Orange is always just here. Uh, trying to get people to cheer for him and stuff. And no one cheered for him, so he's like, okay, later. This sandwich is for Zoe. Eat the sandwich. So who are you getting along with the best? Um, Jay Kwan, because you've known him the longest. Makes sense. Oh, Fallon's here. Invite him in. You guys need to make it official as well before you die. Ugh. Enthuse about interests. Oh my god! He didn't want a hug. I do forget that he's on flirty. So, let's see if he takes the compliment. Okay, he took it. Well, that's good. That kind of worried me a little bit. Dude, you're so sleepy. Come to bed. Come to bed with Stella. Uh, Ren is out here with Dylan chatting it up. I think you're broken, so let's go ahead and reset you. You were like, in the table. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> what's a vampire's favorite drink? Dracola! Stupid. Can you ask Kate for help? Hey, girl, help me out, would ya? Sure, why not? I'm not doing anything else. Oh, how cute is this little bean over here on her little cushion eating a sandwich? Briley's here. Please don't start another fire, love. 
You did that last time. Heck yeah. Thanks, you guys. Couldn't have done it without you. What is it, Batman? What's wrong? Maladay. Ooh, Ren, you're feeling focused. Come uh, practice your programming. Please don't freeze to death. We just put in so much work into you, you can't die yet. Yay, and Alice is responsible. Good for her. This is awesome. I love these two so much. Her especially. I don't know what it is about her. I just like her vibe a lot. Okay, so it is officially Christmas Eve. We're probably not going to do anything until it gets later on in the day. Uh, we can decorate the tree today and light it. And then we can maybe go ice skating, have some hot chocolate, just hang out. But keep working on your skills and all that stuff because that's very important. And Alice, I think you can probably end the gathering. It's been going on for quite some time now. <laughs> Bye everybody, thanks for coming by. I'm glad she's got some friends. That's pretty important when you're a teenager. She already has four vampire power points? How is that even possible? I mean, I'm not complaining. Use less vampire energy. Let's do... Should we give her the bat ability? It is, it's handy because you don't have to worry about walking and burning in the sun. Learn all about another sim's traits. Hmm. That could be handy too. Let's do that one. Let's detect traits. Hillary Rich has passed away. Oh my gosh, so many Sims are dying. Hillary Rich is the one that's at that one restaurant that's always waitressing when we go. That's pretty funny. Hey, Charlie. Um, let's do, don't grow up until you need to. Okay, Charlie, can you please put these away so they don't go bad? Stella, you're reading your wellness book, good girl. Olive's up and she's feeling depressed, so she's gonna clean up some burgers. <laughs> uh, how's your, your work stuff? Okay, okay, yeah, you're all ready, so you should, you should be getting a promotion. But you don't have work today, so it's gonna happen in a couple days, that's fine. Oh, we got mail and the bills need to be paid. I always forget. Ooh, the Artifact Council is pleased to inform you that they have verified this artifact is genuine. Oh, okay, what about all the other stuff? Oh. Smoky Quartz Skull, poor quality, uncommon. Okay, can she do anything else to it at the archaeology bench, I wonder? No, all you can do is place. Okay, well, let's put it in here in your room. Oh, that looks so cool. I love that. Oh, and look, Caleb's here. Come say what's up to your daddy -o. Oh, he's just gonna do some yoga. Huh! Staying fit there, Caleb, I see. That's cool. Hi, Dad. What's up? What brings you around today? Aw, cute! Cute little pics. Love it. Love it! Thanks for the pic, Dad. You know what's annoying? Ren is always sad because of her vampire, uh, like, thing. She's always crying, and it said it was just gonna be occasionally, but I feel like it's all the time. Inspiring art. Aw, so cute. Let's put this picture of you and your dad on the wall. Hopefully they came out okay. Hey, they actually did. No gnomes, no thumb. Charlie, why are you always just eating cake? You truly are a lazy sim. All you do is eat. Eat and sit, and do nothing and dance. Why don't you come tuck your daughter in while you're streaming so you can get some uh, get some followers from that. You know vloggers that you watch that start building a family and then their kids become part of their vlogs and everything. This is this is what's happening right now. Cute. Oh, what did Stella learn? What'd you learn? Desperio! I'm having her practice her mischief magic. Olive, you need to stop being depressed. These are the last years of your life. 
Please call the sadness hotline. Get it together. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. This is another artifact. Let's put that on Olive's- Alice. Alice. Oh my gosh, Alice, Olive. So similar. Oh, we did take some pictures of Alice as a kid. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I was um, concerned that we did not. Right, at the wedding. Mm-hmm. Oh, we forgot to put the wedding pictures up. This is their house now. Maybe we can just put some in their bedroom. Uh, let's do... Is there one of them together, or did we not get that? I guess we can just do this one and this one. That works. Oh, look who's up! What kind of mood are you in? Oh, it's actually not bad. You're just gonna have yourself that grilled cheese? You go ahead and do that. For a fussy baby, she really isn't that fussy. Okay, I think we can all probably decorate the tree now. Why is it not clickable? There we go, okay. Decorate with, let's do ornaments. We'll do uh, blue and white since the house is mostly blue. What, who's calling? Please don't tell me someone died. Who died? <gasps> oh no, not on Christmas. God, that really puts a damper on the freaking festivities. I had all these plans from losing someone close, loss in the family. Ugh. I think we're gonna have to go over there, visit Zach and Kyla. Stella be looking real pregnant already. Poor Oliver. I knew it was gonna happen soon. I knew it. I just didn't know like how soon. And of course, right before we start, all this fun stuff. No one seems to be that sad, though. Olive ne or Oliver never got to meet Zoe, either. Okay, uh, I think we should probably go over there. Just pay our respects to Zack and all that stuff. I'm sad. Hmm. Why did this have to happen right now? I wonder if his gravestone is gonna be there. Or his, like, little, uh, urn? I wonder. I wonder if we could take it. Hello! Max Jr. and Kyla. Max still has his skincare on, okay. Uh, Dorian's just at the computer. This is their bedrooms, by the way. I just I came in here and I made them real quick. This is Kyla's room and this is Dorian's room. Uh, let's see. Is his urn anywhere? I don't see it, which is kind of a bummer. I still love this apartment so much. I wish we could, like, pay our respects or, like, just, like, offer our condolences or whatever or like mourn them together but everyone seems fine they're just like brightness day bacon cakes um she's psyching herself up dorian's just on the computer it's really no big thing no one is phased no one is even crying nice girl nice 
Okay, Ren is uh, the sad one. Why don't you bake some sugar cookies for everyone? You know, we could just put a tree and uh, have people celebrate, or have everyone celebrate here. All right, so Ren is baking some sugar cookies. We can get some people to start decorating. Let's do Olive and Charlie and Stella and Max. Where are the sugar cookies, Ren? Where are they? Oh, it's because Kyla's telling us that it's inappropriate. Girl, what are you talking about? We are family, it's fine. Whatever, I'll just get you the always welcome trait. Uh, okay, yeah, let's grab this, it's only 500. She should be able to do whatever she wants now, like bake and take a bath. Wait, is Ren's baking skill not good? Oh my gosh, it's not. Okay, that's something that we could work on. Cool. And look at that, everyone's decorating. How sweet. Study for historical insights? That's pretty cool. I'm gonna get her to do that. All right, now everyone, we need to light it. But I'm scared. Oh, no, it hasn't been lit yet. Okay, everyone, come on. Fingers crossed, no fire. Here we go. Merry Christmas Eve. All right, did it light? Was that it? Oh, there it goes. Well, this is good that everyone's just spending time. Olive, can you introduce yourself to Kyla? Everyone introduce yourself. It's kind of sad that you guys don't know her. Looks like everyone had a successful Christmas Eve, which is good. It definitely wasn't how I planned it. But hey, it's fine. A lot of times things don't work out. But now this family is just going to like connect this bad event to Christmas Eve, which really sucks. Bye everybody. And it was weird that no one was sad. I'm kind of confused about that, but okay. It'll probably hit them later. Cute. Get that potty training on. Good girl. Oh god. Alice is hysterical. That's scary. Please don't die. Please don't die. Read an archaeology book to calm you down. Good morning, Charlie. Have a stream, please. Have a nice little stream. And then I need you to cook something for freaking Christmas. Let's have, let's just have a turkey dinner. Police, 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 police. Why aren't you doing what I'm telling you? Why? What's that? What was that? Oh, oh I've reached cooking level 10? That's my girl making them cookies though. That's what's up. Okay, why don't you cook the grand meal then, since Charlie is too freaking lazy to do so. Why are you miserable from back pain? Oh, you poor thing. Oh, to be an elder, am I right? This is cute. Two little girlies cooking up some Christmas meals. The tree is decorated with loads of presents underneath. Alice is reading her archaeology book. Batman's warming himself by the fire. Zoe's asleep. Charlie is streaming. Staring at the tree, doing absolutely nothing. Your charisma skill, it's getting there. So why don't you go ahead and practice your speech to get that up? And let's make... Uh, Sparkling apple juice. That's pretty festive. Acting? Ren, an actress? 
Hmm. Probably not. I don't think that's the first thing that she would go for. Oh look, she got some! How adorable! Are you enjoying that? This is so festive with the snow in the back. Alright, we got both grand meals, some cookies. It seems like everyone's in a good mood. Uh, except for Olive, who's calling the sadness hotline. So let's, um, call to grand meal, have dinner, open presents, and that will be Winterfest. Come and eat, everybody! Where are you going with that? Why can't you just sit at the dining table? Oh my gosh, she's gonna pee herself. Hey, but I got an achievement. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay, it looks like Charlie has chosen to have cookies. Why isn't anyone else eating? Well, since she's not gonna eat, I'll go get her. Ooh, Father Winter! Polite introduction. Charm him, Ren. Charm him while he adds- Oh my god, look at all those presents he added. What is it? One present per person in the house? Child! Do what I say! I'm a little worried because Santas in this Let's Play are like stage 5 clingers. After Christmas, they just never leave us alone. But let's see what he gives Ren. Let's see if she's a good egg or a bad one. What'd we get? A yoga mat. Okay. Funny. Let's see what Alice gets. A flamingonium. A crystal clear digital camera. That's what I'm talking about. Good girl. That's a good gift. Now everyone's sitting at the table. Very good. Who, who are we missing? Stella. Where's she at? What's she doing? I'll go in the bathroom. What you gonna get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? A refrigerator. Okay, cool. Bye, Clement. Thanks for all the gifts. Alright, everybody. It's time to open presents. Zoe's still asleep, so she can stay asleep. Alright everyone, it is time. Oh no, Olive got something she did not like. Where's everyone going? Olive was the only one that opened them. I wish Christmas in this freaking game wasn't so glitchy. Because it truly is. Aww, Alice got an easel. That's pretty fitting. Yo, can you like come take a nap so you don't die? I'm so scared when my sims are hysterical. I don't think I've ever had a sim die from being hysterical, but I've seen it happen. Alright, looks like all the presents got opened. And it's almost 1am, so Winterfest is officially over. It's definitely not what I expected it to be. Not at all. I wanted them to go ice skating. I wanted them to have hot chocolate. What's going on out here? Olive, no! They are clearly spoiled. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. <sighs> All right. So in two days, it is Charlie's birthday. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. It kind of was just like a skill building episode. We did a lot of creative sim stuff. Oliver died, which is quite sad. I don't know if I have enough screenshots to do a uh, slideshow, but if I do, then you guys would have seen it, <laughs> obviously. So yeah, let me know, um, what the? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. <sighs> Charlie's dying, Charlie is dying, Charlie is dying. Who has a death flower? Okay, Ren has two of them. Oh my god, he's streaming this too. 
Okay. Uh, no dancing. I need you to come over here and wait for Grim. <laughs> no! No! I swear, if Grim doesn't accept this rose, well, he has to. But I'm, I'm nervous. There's like a chance that he won't. Okay, uh, give Death Flower. Can we just turn that off? Yeah, that- yep, okay, she gave it to him. Oh god. Thank god. Winterfest was successful, my butt. Charlie died. Come on, revive him. Oof. Oof. Stella's like, oh yeah! I didn't lose my husband. It's like, it's fine everyone, it's fine, I'm fine. I don't understand why everyone is so silly and hysterical though. Like, this never happens. Every single person is hysterical. Oh, except for this bean, oh my god. What does she need? Desperate for fun. <sighs> okay, well... Charlie streamed his death. That is so crazy to me. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna like remember this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!